Hi friends, I made this quality dishwashing liquid soap with just four ingredients. In fact, one of the ingredients is found in your kitchen already and you will buy just three. I spent just 2,000 francs to produce a six liter quality dishwashing liquid soap. Before I started producing my own liquid soap, I know how much I spent every two weeks to buy dishwashing liquid soap. We all know that to buy one liter of dishwashing liquid soap, you won't spend less than 1,500 francs. So imagine making six liters with just 2,000 francs. One thing I know about this liquid soap is that it is very safe to use in the kitchen. And I will tell you why before the end of this video. Let's get down to business. Let's take a quick look at the chemicals we need. The first chemical on the list is SLS, which stands for sodium lauryl sulfate. And we will need 125 grams. Secondly, we will be using natrosol and we will need 50 grams of natural soil. Thirdly, we will need texapon. Texapon looks like a gel and is transparent. So we will need 150 grams of texapon. And lastly, we will need some salt. The normal salt you use in cooking. We will need 150 grams of normal cooking salt. Please ensure to get adequate measurements to get the best results. If you don't have a scale at home, once you are going to get the chemicals, take your kitchen salt along and beg them to measure out 150 grams of salt for you. And you can easily get all these chemicals in our local markets. Check those shops that sell chemicals for detergents. So let's get to the pre-production process where we have to dissolve all the chemicals in water. So we will be using 5 liters of water. This is a 5 liter bucket of water and this cup is half liter. So to begin with, into a bowl, we add in 1 liter of water. So we will be dissolving our SLS first because it takes the longest time to dissolve. SLS looks exactly like rice. So to dissolve your chemicals, you need to pour your chemicals in water, not the other way around. Not pouring water into the chemical, but pouring the chemical into water. So we add in our SLS into one liter of water and we gently stir. So since SLS takes time to dissolve, we are going to set it aside and we proceed to dissolve the other ingredients but from time to time we'll still come back to the sls and we stir because it dissolves faster when you stir constantly so we set aside our sls and into another bowl we add in three liters of water if it's your first time stopping by here you are most welcome hit the subscribe button below to join this beautiful family so we are going to use these three liters of water to dissolve the natural soil. Natural soil is like the thickener. And since it takes time to dissolve, I prefer to use a whisk. So natural soil is the thickener and it is the base of our liquid soap. So since it easily forms lumps, we pour it in the water bit by bit and we stir while adding in the natural soil bit by bit to achieve the best results. So we keep doing this till we are able to add in all the natural soil. So once we are done adding in all the natural soil, we continue whisking till everything dissolves and we achieve a thick and transparent gel, which is the base of our soap. As you can see, it is not yet dissolved. We continue mixing till everything dissolves. And like I said, from time to time, we still go in to mix the SLS because if you don't stir it constantly, it won't dissolve properly. So once the natural soil is fully dissolved and becomes thick and transparent, we set that aside and into another bowl, we add in the remaining one liter of water. 
and into the remaining one liter of water, we are going to dissolve our salt. So we pour our salt into one liter of water and we gently stir. We are dissolving the salt last because it is the easiest to dissolve. So at this point, our SLS is fully dissolved. See how clear the water is. This is what we are looking for. If your chemicals are not well dissolved, you might not get the best dishwashing liquid soap. Our salt is equally dissolved and our natural salt is equally perfectly dissolved into a thick creamy gel. So at this point, let's move to the production proper. So to begin with, we add our texapon into the SLS solution. So make sure you extract everything from the plastic. Otherwise, you will be altering the measurements. And you know measurements are very important for our liquid soap to have the best quality. So make sure you press out all the texapon from the wrapper. And then you stir everything to combine. As you stir the texapon into the SLS, you realize that it will begin to foam. This tells you that the texapon is dissolving. And once you achieve this, it means the texapon is fully dissolved. Look at that. Everything is fully dissolved. And at this point, we grab the salt solution and we begin to gently add the salt inside the SLS and texapon and we mix while adding, just as you can see. So after adding the salt, you continue mixing for about two to three minutes so that everything blends well. After that, we now pour in the SLS, texapon, and salt into the natural salt. And we mix while pouring in bit by bit. So we keep pouring and mixing, pouring and mixing till everything blends together. So SLS is a foam booster. Natural salt acts as a thickener and the base to our liquid soap. And then the salt acts as a preservative, as a cleanser, and equally as a thickener. Texapon is equally another foam booster. So at this point, everything is well blended. So you can go ahead to add in some fragrance, but this is totally optional. You could still use your liquid soap without fragrance, but I choose to add in a fragrance. And if you are to add fragrance to a dishwashing liquid soap, make sure you add in a very mild fragrance so you add in your fragrance and you stir well to combine so at this point i am going to share the mixture into three i'm going to be adding two different colors and then i will leave one without color so before adding in your color ensure to dissolve the color in water before adding it into your liquid soap to avoid forming lumps so in the main bowl i will add in the blue color once you add in your color you stir it very well to combine make sure the color is evenly distributed in the liquid soap just like this so we set that aside and into the next one we are adding in the yellow color and we equally stir very well to combine and we are done with the production see how simple it is and we are able to produce six liters of quality dishwashing liquid soap. So at this point, we are going to set this aside for 24 hours so that all the ingredients blend together properly and then the foam equally settles down. So using plastic paper wrap, we cover the liquid soap and we set aside for 24 hours. Don't you think this video deserves a thumbs up? Please hit that like button below to support this video. Someone somewhere needs to see this video. Thank you. And a gentle reminder for you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet. And equally leave a comment to tell me how you feel about this video. Thank you. And after 24 hours, this is what we have. All the foam has 
settle down. Let's open and take a look. When adding in color, always add just a little because once everything settles down, that is when the color pops up. Look at the blue color. It was lighter before and now it's a bit thicker. So see what we have. See how beautiful our dishwashing soap is looking. Look at the one without color, the blue and the yellow or orange. Let me show you the consistency of this dishwashing liquid soap. See how thick it is. You can even choose to add more water, but I prefer to use it like that. I like it very thick. This is what the yellow looks like and equally the colorless. Look at that. So at this point, we proceed to store our dishwashing liquid soap in transparent plastic bottles for easy use. And you can easily get these from shops selling plastics and they come with their lids like this. So the containers are in different sizes. You can have half liter, one liter, 1.5 liter and so on. So if this sounds like a great business idea to you, then worry not about packaging because I got you covered. Like I said in the beginning, this quality dishwashing liquid soap is very safe to use in the kitchen because it doesn't contain any harsh chemical. Most of the liquid soap you find in the market today contain very harsh chemicals like caustic soda, which are not safe for use in washing dishes. All those harsh chemicals are not good for our health. And with the rate of cancer today, we need to be careful with whatever thing we use in the kitchen. So, in summary, our quality liquid soap contains just salt, thickener, and foam boosters. So, making it very, very healthy to use in the kitchen. You know, most of the times, we leave chores like doing the dishes for our children to do and we are not always present to supervise and ensure that they are properly rinsed. So, since our homemade liquid soap has no harsh chemicals, we have nothing to worry about. So, this is the one I make myself and I use in my kitchen. See how beautiful it looks. So, let's proceed to play with some colors. So at this point, I added in a cup of yellow and then I came in with a cup of the blue and then I gave it a good mix to derive the green color. See how beautiful that looks. Would you love to try this out? Leave me a comment in the comment section. Just give this a try and I assure you, you will never buy liquid soap again. And finally, I'm going to transfer the colorless dishwashing soap into this, my empty hand sanitizer container. I run short of bottles. So see how the colorless looks like. So in the comment section, tell me which of these colors do you prefer? Blue, yellow, green, or colorless? Leave a comment in the comment section down below. So in total, we have six liters of dishwashing liquid soap. We used five liters of water and you know the ingredients themselves contain some volume. So in total, we are able to have six liters of quality dishwashing liquid soap with just 2,000 francs. These are the remains. I will look for bottles later to bottle and store. So, does this sound like a great business idea to you? Of course, yes, yes, and yes. With just 2,000 francs, which is approximately $3.2, we are able to have 6 liters of quality and safe dishwashing liquid soap. Let us see if it actually foams. Just a pea size is enough to wash your hands. See how it foams? So you can use it as hand wash. You can use it to do the dishes, to clean the sink, clean the gas cookers, countertops, mopping the floor. But you cannot use it to wash dresses. You cannot use this for laundry because it doesn't contain those harsh chemicals that are able to remove dirt from cloth or materials if you have watched up to this point i want to take this time to appreciate you 
Thank you so much. Stay blessed. Bye-bye.